Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Dragon Ball I Wonder episode 20. And uh, one thing I've always wondered about Majin Buu is why is it that it's not his last form that's the strongest form. Now, uh, for those that aren't aware, perhaps, uh, the strongest form of uh, Majin Buu is Super Buu Gohan Absorbed, or as people like to say now, Buhan. Now, from a logical standpoint, it makes sense why uh, Super Buu Gohan Absorbed is the strongest, because he technically has Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, and uh, Gohan inside of him. Because before, uh, you know, when he was regular Super Buu, uh, he could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, there's still debate as to who's actually stronger, but it's still important that they were around the same strength. But when Gohan went up against that same Super Buu, he dominated Super Buu. Yet, as soon as Super Buu absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo, uh, he started dominating uh, Gohan. But then, of course, he defused and uh, absorbed Gohan after that. To which, uh, Goku and Vegeta couldn't beat him on their own, even though they tried. Uh, and they had to fuse into Vegeta in order to beat him. Now, considering the fact that they had no other alternative to fuse with uh, each other to uh, beat Buhan, whereas that wasn't the case with Kid Buu, is enough evidence to show that essentially Kid Buu uh, isn't the strongest form of Majin Buu, despite the fact that he's the last one. That's one thing that's always bothered me about the Buu saga, because it's confusing, because the way they set it up up to that point, and whether we're talking about Frieza or Cell or what have you, they usually made the villain's uh, earlier transformations weaker than their later ones. For example, there's uh, first form Frieza, which was the weakest form. Then second form Frieza, the next strongest. Third form Frieza was the strong next strongest after that. And then there's final form Frieza and 100% form Frieza. And 100% was undisputably the strongest. And they did the same for Cell. Imperfect Cell was the weakest. Then semi-perfect Cell, the next strongest. Then Perfect Cell, the strongest of, let's say, the original Cell forms. And then when Cell got the huge Zenkai boost, or as you like to say, uh, well, as a lot of people like to say, Super Perfect Cell, he was the strongest, like almost Super Saiyan 2 level. Whereas Perfect Cell was in between, or at least a little bit over one and a half, I guess. <laughs> this isn't the case with Boo, because <clears throat> the weakest form of Boo, a lot of people would say, is Fat Boo. But then, believe it or not, the next uh, weakest form is actually Kid Buu. And again, this is confusing because he's the last form of Buu. And then above Kid Buu would be su base Super Buu, then Buu Ikolo, then Buu Tanks, then Buu Han. So you can see that Kid Buu, despite being the last, is nowhere even close to uh, the uh, other Buu's in terms of power. Uh, and a lot of people even think that that although Goku was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with and do pretty well against uh, Kid Buu, although uh, I have serious doubts as to whether or not uh, he could have uh, unequivocally won. I mean, he might have uh, been able to win, but uh, that's still uh, debatable. Uh, however, a lot of people would say that uh, that uh, he was uh, not strong enough to beat uh, regular Super Buu, so... So yeah, Super Buu is probably the strongest of the, let's say, uh, non-fused forms. Or I guess if you want to count him as being a fusion between the good and evil Buu. Uh, but anyway, that's been my video on uh, the uh, topic. And I'll see you guys later.